So today we're going to show you a way to continue on your yearly tradition of reducing, reusing and recycling by making uh, seed paper, which you're going to be able to use for your holiday celebrations this year. Now you're probably already doing things like uh, reusing t old tissue paper from the year before, gift bags, maybe you've even gone the next step and reused last year's Christmas gift cards to make your own gift tags. But today we're going to make some seed paper and this recipe was brought to me um, by Catherine, who's the co-founder of the Nature Bag, which we featured in the last um, Nature Challenge newsletter. Thanks for coming to my kitchen this morning, Catherine. Thank you very much, Lindsay. Lovely to be here. So you've tried the um, seed paper and yes. had good success? Absolutely. The evidence is on the table. Um, I did this with my children as well, actually. So it's, oh, it's right. a nice activity to do with the family. I also took some of the stiffer paper that was made um, at first. This is a lot, lots, lot more yeah, like cardboard. Like cardboard yeah. Yeah. And and I um, tore it and created a couple of bookmarks um, using raffia, some, some ribbon to, to finish off at the end. Um, the larger sheets you could also use for note paper no. or for note cards and this is a little gift box. Excellent. So we've got endless ideas. We're going to walk you through the steps of the recipe. The finished product looks a little something like this. So this is about a week's worth of germination on a seed planter that you, you attempted. Yeah, um, absolutely. The paper's in there, it's just had the, the soil put on top and she said it's, it's a week in, into, it, into its growth and that's, uh, those are wild flowers that you can see coming up there. Excellent. Now in order to get starting uh, pulping your paper, you're just going to look through your house for uh, sources you already have. Mm -hmm. um, I keep these just in a blue box under the desk. Uh, you've probably got maybe old envelopes from birthday cards or something people have sent you. As long as the paper isn't glossy, um, so you want to take off you know the stamp I would tear off here and um, make sure any of the magazines or other articles just aren't too shiny right you don't want the texture yeah we've got some shredding to do and if you don't have a paper shredder um, you can just use you know tearing it up in bits or, or cutting it because um, you're gonna soak this in the sink so it'll all get meshed in which will be fine mm -hmm. so we'll turn that on I'll let you shred a okay. few that's a an envelope from a bill Now, uh, what types of paper did you end up using well, for yeah, your stock? This paler colored paper, I was using the paper from Mandarin Oranges. Excellent. I had uh, white paper, it was actually white paper, okay. and that was fantastic, it was very soft to start with. And I also added one, it was a, a, a brown paper bag, also went in there, and we ended up with this sort of yellowed color. The green, these were newsletters that the children had brought home from school, oh, okay. um, haven't quite gone to the e-newsletters e yet, uh, so you've got the pink and the blue and the green are actually showing. You've also got some of the lettering you can see. and. The brown are leaves. I actually tore up some little leaves and threw them in at the later stage. Not at this stage, but we'll perhaps we'll come to that, but the brown are, are leaves. Yeah. So once you've shredded your paper, either in your mechanical paper shredder or just by hand, you can just um, add it to a sink full of water. This is just warm tap water. Once you've let this soak for 30 minutes, I just use a measuring cup and you're going to use it um, to pulp in your blender. So you're going to take the mixture and you want to get, make sure you've got some water in there so that you don't wreck the blades on your blender. For a few seconds. So you can see it basically turns all to a gray, mushy consistency. You've got a few chunks, but that's okay for the um, paper making process and it just sort of looks like a, um, a really soft, really soft fluffy mixture. And you can now do um, the second process by putting your pulp in the other side of your sink or you can just use another tub or bowl where your frame will fit into. So now that we've uh, blended our paper bits and the rule is about three blenderfuls of paper but it's really going to be dependent on uh, your reservoir that you're going to be filtering through. So, Catherine, you use a, a tub here. For I use a tub, and the depth you want. Once we'll talk about the frame, but once you basically want the depth uh, sufficient, so the frame will disappear. Will sink inside. Sink in, exactly. Yeah. So, and onto the frame. Uh, so I use mine in the sink. So I just measured it so that it fits the other side of my sink. The frame's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. You've got an old. It looks like picture frame, right? It's an old picture frame, um, as you can see here. Um, you need to be able to go and buy some mesh. This was from the local hardware store. It's, it's a, a fabric mesh, um, but 
I probably recommend, if you can, to find the wire mesh, the window screening mesh. Um, it, it'll, it'll mean that when, once you actually put it on the frame, it won't stretch and sag. And at this stage as well, this is when you want to add the seeds. Because yes. it's blended, you've done the blending, and now you, have, you yeah. can add the seeds ready for the... You want the seeds to be quite flat, right? You don't yes, want any bumps because you, yes. you want it to lay flat in the paper. Yes. And do you use any rule of thumb as far as measuring how much you put in? I don't know, I don't think so. I mean, you can do, use your eye Try and judge it. Yeah, a couple of packets might be sufficient with that set. I give it a spoon. Yeah. That's right. So what you want to do, you want to put it uh, this way around, so you're going to be collecting it on the, the, the surface, on this surface here. You want to put it right inside, underneath, and then just take it, it back and disappears, and then just lift it off. And you can see that's already rather heavy, there's a lot of water collected as well. Mm -hmm. You can clean off the edge of the frame, take away the pulp. Yeah. The next step of the paper making procedure is now that we've strained out all the water and we've got it on our frame, we want to get it onto a bunch of tea towels. This is going to help drain all the excess water out and where your paper sheet will dry. So Catherine's going to do the magic part of flipping it on. Yeah, and I found a few taps on the back of the screen will get it to lift. If it doesn't lift off really easily, it just means you probably got a little excess water and you just have to repeat mm. the last step. And I find if you want to take a tea towel at this stage, sort of fold it so you've got some corners and just... Okay, press it into push, the sheet. Yeah, yeah. Push, push it in and you'll start to see it coming away at the edge of the frame so you know... Before you remove yeah, the frame. Yeah, before you remove so you yeah. know you're at that stage. It's just that oh, break away. Fantastic. Yes, yeah, there we go. Just pull it apart and then you've got your sheet of paper. And so uh, you can layer your um, mm -hmm. tea towel. See, it's already lightening up quite a bit from the, the gray. And um, this is how you're going to be able to keep it dry. And like I say, you could put something heavy, heavy on top as you well. Could. Or you can start just stacking, going to, the, going to your tub. Oh, your next, your next sheet, sheet, that's right. And you start to layer top. it up with your absorbent uh, layers in between. Perfect. And a finishing step uh, that I used once my sheet was, you know, 80% um, dry was just to finish it off, sorry, with, um, with a, a hot iron. And, you know, with a tea towel on top, don't iron directly on the paper because it will give it a sheen and, and affect it. But if you just use a warm iron um, to kind of get all the bits and edges a little bit um, flatter. So even when the paper is quite damp, you can, you can handle it. And I guess some of the last tips we would leave folks with is don't forget to... Uh, let folks know what seeds you planted. Absolutely, include those planting instructions as part of your bookmark or, your, or with your, your notelets or your note paper that you're giving. And the other thing I found, I guess, was when I was trimming and, and crafting my final pieces is if, as you get scraps and bits that don't work, you can just put them in your compost bin or, or right into the garden. It's just pulped paper, so um, you can recycle the recycled bits again. Thanks for coming, Catherine. Thank and you very I can much totally see how this would be a great kid activity um, or things to do with family and I friends. I found it fascinating. They really did. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.